Hey guys, Heidi Eastley here, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties, and I also teach people how to make money teaching virtual paint parties, <laughs> so we've added that to the list. So I'm going to be um, painting a surfboard today, um, kind of where it all started. My business started painting, you know, decorative wooden surfboards. Um, and so I'm going to be painting a surfboard for y'all today. So if you have anybody who just needs an escape, wants to, to watch me paint and maybe do one for yourself, just let me know. And go ahead and let me know in the comments. Um, if you can say hi, tell me where you're from. I'm going to put a comment just because sometimes I can't see them until I say hi. Okay, I think I see your comments. So put something in the comments so I can see if it's working. I don't know, the other day I was like, why is nobody... Um, I was teaching in a homeschool group and I was like, why is not one person commenting? And then I realized after they had been commenting, but I couldn't see them. Oh, good. Deborah says yes. Okay, good. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to just be doing a simple surfboard design and um, let me know if you have questions and we're just going to paint together. Spend a few minutes just, you know, escaping and thinking of the beach <laughs> let's just think about the beach can we do that everybody hey guys hey chris hey Doreen. is it Dur oh donna hey donna hey caitlin hey stephanie okay so i'm gonna pick some of my favorite colors and i love obviously the hibiscus um, i've been working on a bunch of different designs but i'm actually going to do a turtle i'm gonna attempt to do a turtle design for y'all so this is one of those moments where we give each other grace and we don't judge a lot because I'm going to um, paint the turtle freehand and we'll see how it goes. So how's that sound? Oh, we got Tulsa, Oklahoma. I have some family there. That's awesome. Hey guys. Okay, so I'm putting a coat of sea breeze on first. So let me point them more towards the surfboards and then that way you can see that a little bit better. So um, this surfboard, this one right here, this is actually my very first business called My Soul Is Yours. And that was the surfboard I did based on my business, kind of like as my logo. And, um, and I've had it, I've never gotten rid of it. <laughs> I've had it ever since. Let me see. Um, so glad to see you, girlfriend. You make me smile. Oh, thank you, Stacy. My background this morning Get you rolling in that direction. <laughs> yes, Stephanie. Oh my gosh. So we had a, um, I always like, whenever I meet with the paint party headquarter ladies, I'm like, yeah, we're going to try to meet for an hour. And then it's like three hours later and we're still, you know, talking and sharing and all of that. And so we learned how to do virtual backgrounds on our Zoom. And so Stephanie, she was, <laughs> she was chilling at the beach. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, Lakila was so cute. She had put one of her pictures of her, her succulent gardens that she does. And, um, she stuck her head, she made her head like be stuck in the succulent garden. It was pretty funny. So, um, so yeah, so here's some of the surfboards. I'm going to be showing you, um, a turtle design on this one. Again, I'm going to freehand this for you. So this is a judge free zone, judge free. Okay. <laughs> and if anybody needs some art in their life, if you don't mind, tagging them in this and letting them know and they can see how to paint a surfboard, a decorative surfboard. So you could do this for a friend or maybe somebody that is really into the beach and you could put names or you could even put, um, I've done a lot that say like, you know, let's say for example, Easley's Bar and Grill or something like that. And it could be like an outdoor thing. Okay, so I'm gonna blow dry this for a minute. So talk amongst yourself for about 30 seconds. So I can mostly dry so I'm gonna do a um, kind of a whimsical turtle and I'm going to draw it first and then kind of fill it in and um, I'm gonna use this big one-inch brush first to um, 
Stacy says I'll have to get me a surfboard to paint. Oh, I was gonna tell y'all. Okay, so you can cut these out yourself, you know, just a surfboard shape design. But y'all know I love the company from um, from Oklahoma. It's this is the sweet couple, and they own Craft Creations. Um, just like a lot of the restaurants have lost business, like if y'all want to order a surfboard from them, this is where I got mine at. We used to make all of our own. Like this was one that we made back in the day. Um, but man, if y'all see this tutorial and you want to make your own surfboard for your kid or have your kids make them, please order for Craft Creations because just like a lot of businesses out there, um, like it was like a water faucet and then it just stopped. So I'm sure they would love you so, so much if you ordered a surfboard from them. So I'm gonna kind of show you how to do this and we'll go from there. Okay, so if you want stripes on it, you're just gonna put a couple of pieces of tape. Let's see, Stacey says, shared your video to my page and told my friends to watch you because you're amazing. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Yeah, I appreciate it so, so much. Okay, so I just put masking tape. Oh, I almost got splitters, so do that carefully, please. And um, when you put the masking tape down, just do it very carefully. And then you can have a couple of different different um, stripes on here if you want. I'm just gonna do two. I'm just gonna do um, two stripes on mine, which requires three pieces of masking tape, and you'll see why. Oh, we have another person from Tulsa. Where is everybody at? Oh my gosh. Bobby just um, took Pixie for a driving lesson. So she is, um, she'll be 14 this summer. And so we've been trying to start introducing driving to her. Cause like when I was, you know, when I was you know, learning to drive way back when, <laughs> seems like we started learning way, way earlier. And then all of a sudden one of my friends, she sent me a picture of her daughter who's the same age as Pixie. Like, yeah, we're starting to learn um, some driving skills. And I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that. Like, I got to start trying to teach her. So we've been from time to time showing, um, letting Pixie drive like in an empty parking lot or whatever. So um, so Bobby's letting her right now. That's what they're headed for right now. Oh, Deborah says, love shopping from small businesses. Oh my gosh, yeah. Craft Creations would so appreciate the business right now. They would so appreciate it. So if you do want to do this kind of same, similar surfboard, um, this is where I got it from. I got it from Craft Creations. So I just put masking tape on. As you can see, this is very old masking tape I just found in my art studio. So it's kind of coming up, but kids can easily do this. So if you want to do it, maybe for like, maybe your kid loves the beach or something, you want to make this for your kid or Maybe you love the beach and you want to make it for like your porch or something. Or you can just, you know, do this, this for a friend who loves the beach. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to, as far as a name goes, I don't know what I'm going to put on mine yet. I have a lot with Pixie on them, as you can tell. <laughs> and I've put pretty much every name you can think of. When, when I was selling these as my business, we did over a thousand of them in less than two months with me doing three days a week only. So some of those days were definitely 16 hour days of hand painting these surfboards. And you're gonna pull up the tape while it's wet. And then I just usually take this and have a trash can somewhere and just chunk it over there. And then you can always, if see how I didn't push down all the way and it wasn't as dry? You could always push down a little bit and then just kind of clean it up if you want. So I'm just gonna let it dry. I don't wanna mess with it. Okay, so I'm gonna draw the turtle on here. And then I can also put another stripe of a color in the center if I want. Let's see, I need to go to the post office to get boxes to send out a painting kit. Oh yeah, I know there's a lot of people doing painting kits too. Um, wherever you're at, if you're artsy or creative, I really encourage you to not, not stop creating during this time, okay? If anything, amp it up, create more, okay? Eh, I shouldn't have touched the surfboard yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna freehand a turtle on here. Um, let me see, I don't know if I wanna do the typical colors. Why would I do the typical colors? Y'all know me. That's not like me to do the typical colors. 
but I want it to show up. So let me play around for a minute. I don't know if this is going to be enough coverage. Let me just let me just play around for a minute. I might scratch this, but I just want to see. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll be okay. So I just used a bright orange and a or blue and an and an orange twist. Hold on, y'all. Let me grab a dog. Come here, blue. Come here. Hey. best guard dog like he look if y'all saw his photo shoot the other day he looks like he's sweet and innocent old man but he will chew off your face <laughs> if he needs to he is definitely um insane and um, i don't know if they're in tulsa but it's spelled i'm gonna put their let me see oh amy says she sold um four door hangers since nashville oh that's awesome i know i miss nashville so bad it seems like it was um forever ago when we were there let me see I'm going to try to put their website in here, craftcreations.com. They're a, um, they're a husband-wife team, and, um, and I'm sure they would love, love, love the business. Okay, so I'm going to do the turtle in this kind of orangish color. Let me see, blue's going to help out. <laughs> Y'all want to see blue while I'm painting? He might get his his paw in it, but he's he's a good guard dog. Does anybody else have a good guard dog with them staying at home? What um his ear went in my mouth. And um, what I didn't realize so much with Pixie being home all the time, with doing school online, and um, she'll have she'll have him in her lap. But he like when he wakes up, he immediately goes to her room. And he wants to like be in there with her. It's so cute where, you know, even though he bit her the other day in the photo shoot because she was trying to put Harry Potter glasses on him for the, for the pictures, he loves that girl so much and protects her so much. But he's kind of a, he's an old man. He's about 14, 13, 13 I'd say 13 to 14. And so he's, um, He's just getting older and his patience is not as good. Right, Blue? Right. He's like, why are you holding me here? I just want to be free. I just want to go chase the, the, man, the, the people coming and delivering. Okay. Nope. Stay here. I don't want you barking. Okay, so we have this going on. Um, let's see. Brenda says we have three little guard dogs. Deborah has a German Shepherd. Yeah, I used to have a German Shepherd growing up, and those are good. Those are really good guard dogs, too. Okay, so I'm going to add a lot of detail to this. As you know, I always do. Um, I start out with it kind of basic, and then we start to go crazy. Um, I'm going to add some colors here. I really like, as you can see, the style of these hot pinks. So I'm going to use a neon, a neon, um, it's called Fiery Red, but it kind of has a pinkish color to it. But I need kind of a, um, kind of like a carrier with it. Let's see. Why can't we look that good when we age? I know. Blue, like, people always think he's a puppy. And I'm like, I'm like, I know. But see, whenever you look at him up close, um, I don't know if y'all can see. If he'll let me see. You can see all the gray around his face. Don't put your feet in the paint. Let me see. Can you see the gray around his face? Oh, he's looking at y'all. 
He's like, he's like this old man. He's just so cute. Look, I love him so much. He's so adorable. I know. I wish I could age as gracefully as blue. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I like these colors too. So the thing I learned about these pinks though is you have to kind of, the fluorescent colors, you have to kind of have a, a carrier. So I try to get as close to the pinks as I can. And then I'm going to mix these together because this fluorescent, if you just put that fluorescent without kind of a, a base color first, now you could do, let's say, a white or just the regular pink and then put it on there, but I'm just being lazy, so I'm just putting it all three together. And I've mixed these three. I mixed Royal Fuchsia, the Neon Fiery Red, and then um, Electric Pink. Electric Pink. Okay, so I'm going to start drawing some hibiscus, okay? Since I don't have a lot of room, and I have a dog in my lap, I'm going to try to draw them where, let's see if y'all can see these. Um, I'm going to try to draw them smaller, so they're not going to be as big as those. Here you go, buddy. So I'm just going to do kind of a upside down U. And then I use my pinky a lot of times. Let me see if I can zoom in. I use my pinky a lot of times to hold my place. And then I'm just going to upside down U, bring that over, upside down U. going to check it out. Okay, and then I can just bring this here, put a little dot, and then just bring this out and curl it around. Okay, so now I'm gonna fill this in. So I wanna go ahead and fill this in. Oh, Francine, that's a great idea. She said, put a puppy print on it. Um, when Pixie was smaller, you know, when I was doing all of these surfboard paintings, um, I really miss them. I think that's why I wanted to come live to just show y'all because I had the most fun ever painting these little surfboards for kids. Um, but um, whenever Pixie was younger, you know, she would, of course, get into the paint and be creating with me. And she did this thing one time. I just left her in her diaper. And she, we put, it was when we were living in this apartment. And um, I was having to do all these paintings. And I, she wanted to paint. So I just put her in her diaper. And I put old wrapping paper down. And it was like this metallic type wrapping paper. And she was covered in paint. And she kept going, skate the paint, skate the paint, like that. And um, it was so funny. And she would just like, she was like, her feet. I mean, and this is acrylic paint, so it's permanent. So I was like, you gotta stay. We were in a carpeted apartment. I was like, you have to stay on the, the wrapping paper. And she was just covered in it. I have that picture somewhere and it's so freaking cute. Um, it's a really, really cute picture. Okay. So let me back this up again. So yeah, so I like being able to do that. So if you want to get one of these surfboards and um, craft creation can, can mail you one out. I'm sure there's still, um, doing some shipping and then if not if you have your own saw just you know cut your cut yourself one out to create I remember when I first um first started doing you know painting when I did live on the beach and I was like you know just trying to to use art to heal um let me zoom in on this one and then I'll show you all what I'm going to do with the turtle I'm just letting it dry for a minute and when I was using Art to Heal and I was cutting these surfboards out, but before I did that, so I used to be obsessed. Does anybody know the brand Roxy, that surf brand? Um, I used to be obsessed with um, Roxy, the surf brand. And so I ended up taking um, some wood. We got some wood and I cut out a ginormous, 
Roxy logo, like the big, you know, heart slash logo. And then from the logo, I painted it all red with these um, really pretty white hibiscus, you know, just like how they did it um, at the surf shops. And um, we used it as our, like our headboard center, you know, like a centerpiece above our bed. And I love that thing so much because it looked like it was just a little surf room. It was so cool. It was our, it was our bedroom in my 20s. Me and Bobby were like, we're going to turn it this way. He's, he's always been really good about letting me just paint anything anywhere. And so when we lived in that house, um, there was a picture I took when we were in the Bahamas. My sister, she'd actually won a Disney cruise. Now, who does that? Like, who wins a cruise, right? She won a Disney cruise, and it was, like, for two adults and two kids. Well, you know, at the time, she, saw, she found out if they could upgrade it to me and Bobby being the two kids. So we had to pay some extra, but then they let us go. Well, on one of the, the Disney islands they have, Castaway Key or Castaway K, um, there were all these umbrellas. And I took this really cool picture of these umbrellas. And so I would always wanted to paint it. And it was just all these bright colors. And so um, Bobby was like, yeah, I don't care. And so I painted our living room. So one wall in our living room was just these beautiful ocean with all these umbrellas. Um, but it was in this kind of, you know, this style that I do, this like whimsical style. And um, it was so, you know, so weird, like when our friends would come over because like everything was just painted. You know, if we, if we could paint it, we would paint it. And so it's been kind of fun, like, um, thinking about the projects to do over the next 30 days. I'm like, oh, I could paint my porch. I could paint the Alice in Wonderland plywood I've been wanting to for about two years now. So we have the plywood. It's finally here. Um, not that it was hard to get plywood. It's just I hadn't made time to. So now I'm excited because I have that project. So I want to challenge you to, like, get some projects on your list. Um, is there anybody here that has a project they have been wanting to do for a long time and you've been putting it off? Like, I'm, I'm so guilty. There's so many projects like that. And um, if there is a project like that, like put it in the comments and let's see if we can help you be accountable to creating it. Okay, so I have the, the base colors of this. I'm going to kind of draw in where I want my turtle. Oh, thank you, Laura. Hey, Leila, she says, love those happy colors. We sure need more happy. Yes, how can, you, how can you be happy today? Something you can be grateful for. I am grateful for the beach. Even though I'm not there, I'm still grateful for it. I'm grateful we have beaches. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to add in, and I like the metallic use in there too. So I'm just going to kind of add in a yellowish color to go around the border of this turtle. And in a second, you'll see how it's going to come together because I'll start adding in some of the details. All right, so what projects have you been wanting to do that you're going to do? Let's see. I, my problem is I start and I never finish. That's okay, Stacy. Still starting, that's half the battle. <laughs> Cleaning baseboards, ugh, Deborah, that doesn't sound fun. <laughs> what, let's, let's rephrase this, what artsy projects? <laughs> um, let's see, Debbie, yes, putting up vinyl sayings on the walls and kitchens, awesome, great idea. And um, all my family are well and safe. Oh, that is so good to hear. Yeah, right now being grateful for just, you know, things like that, like, you know, we can all kind of get stuck in our head but when you start to think about you know what some people are going through compared to what we're going through it's just it's just insane um let's see starry night oh yeah for those of y'all that have not done your starry night yet you have until monday to post your pictures we have several places on my page to post those pictures for starry night and I would love to see you post yours because I'm going to give away um, a prize to one of y'all. And when you post it, you'll be able to be in the parade. So I'm going to put all those together into a video. And then we'll have a Starry Night Parade. Um, Deborah, painting every day something. Yeah, definitely. Making time to paint. 
Um, I'm finding that I'm having to do my painting during the day because as much as I love, you know, putting on a Hallmark movie and, and painting at night, I find that my energy just goes. And so by the end of the night, I'm just exhausted. You know, like I'm just like, I want to paint, but I just don't have the capacity to. So, you know, if you're like me and you start to lose steam at night, <laughs> make sure that you're painting when you have the time. Um, okay, so this is a, um, a metallic teal. If you've never used metallic paints, I strongly recommend it. It is so, so much fun. You just gotta really um, shake them or they start to get a little crazy. They get too watery. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of that into the flower and then this is about to be dry and I'm gonna show you some cool designs in here. Let's see, I'm trying to finish the owl Yvette shared and also wanna finish the chapel. I guess I need to do Starry Night first. <laughs> Joyce, if you, wanna, if you wanna be in the parade, do the Starry Night first. <laughs> Let's see, I'm still working full time from home, but so no extra time, but it's been a blessing on its own. Yeah, um, I know a lot of people are, they're transitioning from, um, you know, we hear about all the people who, who have um, lost their jobs, but then we also, there's a lot of people that have just been moved to home which is a, a different um, thing as well. So let's see, just starting Starry Night today. So we post them under the Starry Night tutorial. Yes, so post them under the Starry Night tutorial. Um, that would be perfect. And let's see, I haven't been able to paint today, not having the muse. Elizabeth, let's see, doing more two projects. Um, Elizabeth, does that mean like you haven't been inspired lately? If it is, sometimes, like, even when we're not inspired, just the action of doing it, like, the discipline of just, you know, starting something, you know, even if it's just something simple, I know it sounds weird, but, um, like, I know, like, for exercise, for example, sometimes I'll get where I never want to exercise, I'm the worst at that. And then I, you know, walk up a flight of stairs and realize I can't breathe, right? And so I'm like, okay, I need to get into this. And I think, and I'm saying this out of, um, I still am conquering that because I really struggle to like, okay, I need to exercise. I need to go out there and do something to make, you know, make me feel better or whatever. So maybe just like taking, you know, one of these projects or the starry night and just going for it. Even if you don't feel like it and then maybe during it, you'll start to feel like it. Yeah, Trudy. Yeah, I did this whenever we were living on the beach. Yeah, that's right. I got a phone call and didn't get to hear your comments. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, all these surfboard, surfboard fun. Okay, so I'm going to start adding some details into here. Um, I'm going to use kind of a mixture, some black paint and some um, turquoise color. And then let me know if you have any questions. Um, Julie, I don't. I don't prime my, um, my plywood before painting. Um, I probably should, but I just get the one that's already sanded and then I just start squirting paint on it like crazy. Um, so that's probably not the right way to do it, but I just go for it. Um, let's see. Doing PT while watching. Oh, okay, cool. No, yeah, I don't, um, yeah, I don't prime it. I probably should, but I don't know. I just, even this wood, I just... It's sanded, even the surfboards are sanded and I just go for it like that. Okay, so I'm gonna just kinda of outline this turtle cause I wanna put some designs on him. So I'm putting the paint here and the paint here. I have a, an easier time, not always, but usually an easier time with the bigger brush than like a really, really small brush. Um, and again, sometimes I have to move to the small brush when it's like a, a really tight curve. But I really try not to. Okay, so I made a mistake, so let me see if I can fix it. Sometimes on wood, it won't let you fix it. 
with a baby wipe because the wood sucks in the paint, but sometimes it will let you fix it. So I'm gonna see if it's gonna let me today or not. So it's not really, a little bit. So the good thing about paint is once it dries, we just go right back on top of it. Okay, oh, I just threw my hand in the pink. I am a mess. Okay. Yeah, and we were talking about this um, with the Paint Party Headquarter ladies earlier. Like, you know, as you're, you're painting and you're learning, like, give yourself grace because you're going you're gonna to learn things as you go and you're going to get better at it. Um, because a lot of times, you know, we think, well, we're not the best painter. Or we haven't been doing it that long. And I remember meeting a lady in my mid-20s and she was, she was probably 60s and she had this awesome, awesome artwork. And I was like, I wasn't jealous, but I remember making the comment to her, like, oh my gosh, you are so talented. I'll never be that talented. And she looked at me with these kind eyes and she said, she said, but look at how old you are. She's like, if you keep practicing, think of how good you're going to be when you're my age. And, um, and that really hit home because it made me like realize that, you know, art is practice, you know, painting you know, for hours and hours or whatever. Like, we're going to get better if we just keep practicing. And so, um, for those of y'all that are like, oh, you know, I, I couldn't do that. Or, you know, or maybe you're like a, a fine artist and this kind of art scares you. <laughs> you know, like just being more whimsical kind of scares you. Um, you know, we all have things we're, we're talented at, but then there's also things that we can learn. And so, you know, I don't know about y'all, but like right now, while we've been given you know, this, you know, whatever you want to call it, like, you know, you could do some kind of cool stuff during, during it from your house if you wanted to. Um, I know not everybody has that option, but a lot of us, a lot of us do. So think about something maybe you want to create. Okay, so I just did that. I'm going to make another circle, and then I'm going to add in some fun designs. And this let me see how, this one right here, I think it's a 12 inch. Let me measure it. Oh no, it's not. It is a almost 19 inch. 18 inch. 18 inch by the widest is six and a half. 18 inch by six and a half. So if you're uh, trying to make your own, if not, I know Craft Creations would love the business. And I pinned their business um, at the top of the page. So if you want to order a surfboard to do this yourself, I know they would really, really appreciate it. It's like we want to try to do our best to keep, you know, the places we love, you know, including the restaurants and the, the um, you know, the hobby places, all the places we love, we want to do our best to try to, support you know those local places and um, i need my little cousins and i need that my little cousins in germany loves turtles yeah you could totally make them one of these okay so i'm going to do something kind of whimsical i'm going to do some waves that i really like doing and um, in the the middle of this so i just take it and turn it up like that i'm going to zoom in so you can see it and then I'm just gonna keep going all the way around, okay? I think I had too much coffee this morning because my hands are shaky. I'm just bringing it up every time. And then once you start to get close to where you're going to finish this, Kind of start to eyeball how big or small that wave needs to be. Because once you start to get close to it, 
you don't want to make it not fit. So that's a little awkward, but it's all right. It'll do. <laughs> It'll do. Okay, and then we can do designs in here if we want. Um, and then I'm also going to add some metallic. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Joyce. Yeah, if you want to cut it yourself, that's about the size. And then those are the bigger ones. I don't know how, how big those are. I'd have to measure them. Okay, so we got that going on. I'm going to add a little bit of detail to my hibiscus. And these are just going to be some quick lines. Let's see if y'all can see these a little better. There we go. And then we'll add some metallic to it. And then I always recommend spraying this with a polyurethane, some kind of um, top glaze. You can get, you know, different colors. There's a, a mini wax one that I've used for years. Decor Art has a good one. It's just a quick coat. And I recommend doing that on pretty much anything that's wood that you're gonna put outside. If you're not gonna put it outside, um, it still makes it shimmer, which is really pretty. So just turn your brush over, do a few little dots. And then you can also, since we have some white in here, we could also take some of this white and put some dots inside here. So I'm actually gonna do the turquoise-ish color. I'm just gonna do kind of some lines almost like a highlight line, but with this sea breeze. And then I'm gonna do some dotting on the opposite side of it. Can y'all see that? Zoom in. If the zoom in is helping or hurting, let me know. Okay, all right, so I got that. Turn this over. Let's see, is the zoom in helping? Let me see if y'all are yes on that. Maybe it's not helping. Let me zoom out. Let's see if that's better. Oh, okay, it's good, okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay, so I just wanna make sure it's, it's helping, not hurting. Okay, so I'm just going to add, while I have the turquoise on there, I'm just going to add those little lines. And this is really a fun project um, to do, like I said, for, for yourself, have your kids do it. Like if y'all have, um, you know, some kids at home, y'all could all be thinking of the beach <laughs> and then make your own surfboards and they could all put their name on it. Yeah, I had a surfboard. I don't know if I still have it, but I had, um, it was one of the bigger ones, and when Pixie was smaller, we had her handprints and her footprints on it. So I painted her footprints and had her stand on it like she was surfing. And um, I thought that was really cute, and then had her name on it. Back in the day when, when they're little, we're getting handprint stuff, now I'm like, we don't really paint your hands. <laughs> she probably think I was a crazy person. I'm like, can I get your handprints, please? She's almost 14. <laughs> she would think I was nuts. But I wonder why we don't do that. We don't think it's as cute anymore. I don't know. What is the method behind that? Okay. And then I'm going to use this to do the little dots here. Oh good, everybody's liking the zooming in. Okay, I'll remember that too for next time. Okay, now I'm gonna do some cool stuff on this turtle. And I'm just gonna still try to not get too crazy with the color schemes. I wanna basically keep it in with these colors and, and then these metallics that we have here. So we can take some of the metallics and if I wanna just do maybe a line um, how many of y'all heard of Zentangles? Does anybody know what Zentangles are? If you do, if you'll just put yes in the comments. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it, um, Marina says my 14 year old wouldn't. I know, I bet Pixie would be like, no mom, you're stupid. I don't know, if it involves paint being all over the place, she might be okay with it actually. She might be like, okay, let's paint some crap. Does anybody have a good um, recommendation? So since Pixie is virtual school now, like the rest of the world, um, I was gonna let her, like on her 14th birthday, I was gonna like take her somewhere and let her do like highlights in her hair. But since, you know, we can't really go anywhere, I was thinking, well, maybe I could just do it myself. I know it's a bad idea. <laughs> but does anybody have a, a um, suggestion of what kind of product I should get? Maybe if you have an idea of just a, a girl who has darker blonde hair wanting some blonder highlights that does involve me doing it. She says she's going to do it herself, but I know I'm going to have to help her some. Okay. So I'm not loving that. I think I'm gonna go back over that with this. I think I'm gonna add my... Okay, so I don't know if I wanna do the heart or the straight sunset. Let me see. I think I'm gonna do the heart and the, and the sunset. Okay, bear with me. I'm just kind of creating this from some of my ideas I had. Okay, so I have an idea. Because I don't like that metallic, so I'm going to change this in the middle. Yes, send tangles. Oh. <laughs> yeah, probably, if it's a boy, probably just have to do a Nerf gun. Yeah, and um, the one thing about Facebook Lives I wish they would let us have is um, music in the background. Like right now, I would love some Bob Marley playing. So if you have your Alexa, you could have Alexa play Bob Marley for you. And then it could be chilling in the background while we're painting some surf designs. Okay, I like that color way better. I wasn't digging that. And I'm going to turn this into a sunset. Okay, so I got that going on. Okay, and then I'm going to turn this into a sunset. And I'm just going to make a couple of lines here. Let me see if I can do this with the, the black. Can you still see that okay? think so. Straight line across. I'm gonna try to paint it this way so you can for sure see it so my hand doesn't get in the way. I got a little too much water in that one. Okay, and then now I want to make these little sun rays. So I'm going to use my big flat brush and just try to lightly bring them through. And just keep going back to flattening that brush. And then I'm going to have to switch to my small brush again or I'm going to end up all the way out of that. Okay, so we kind of have like a heart sunset. And then I feel kind of like, I don't know, I feel kind of like the, the turtle needs some different colors on it. Let me know what y'all think. I feel like the turtle might need like, I don't know, something going on in here. 
let me know in your comments what you're thinking. Um, oh, thank you, Debbie. She says, love watching you paint, watching from California. Oh, it's good to have you on here. Um, where do you get the boards? Um, Christy, I pinned it to the top. It's a local company out of Oklahoma called craftcreations.com. They would so, so appreciate your business. Um, I know they're really um, struggling because, you know, most people aren't buying wooden sur surfboards or wooden um, paint things right now. So if y'all could um, definitely order some stuff from them, I know they would love it. Um, let's see. I believe you could totally do blonde highlight. Oh, I hope you're right, Joyce. <laughs> we should do a before and after. Um, additional colors would be great. Purple, dots, all the way. Oh, dots, that'd be good too, and purple. Awesome. Okay, so let me add, I think I'm going to add in a little bit of purple into here so it doesn't contrast so much with that. And then, yes, I think I'm going to do some pink dots too. Thank y'all. Any other ideas, just let me know. Okay, so I'm going to do some pink dots just to kind of spruce this puppy up. And again, usually I put names on these, so I might have a name still somewhere. But as you can see, most of the surfboards I do, I always have a name on them. That's how it happened. I was painting all these surfboards and the students kept going, make me one, put my name on it, make me one. That's how it all started. Oh, I think this might be cool. I'll do pink in here and then I can do shades of pink for the rays. I think I'll like that. Um, he needs green, most hurdles are green. Yeah, Angela, that's what I was saying at the beginning. Um, I might do a little hint of green, but I'm like, I'm always that person that like, I paint whatever color it's like the opposite of what it is. <laughs> you know, like if it's supposed to be this, I'm like, oh, let me just not paint the color anywhere near. But I could put a little bit of a, a greenish somewhere. I'm like the person who paints the purple elephants, you know, like they're... They're not supposed to be purple, so why not make it purple? <laughs> okay, so I'm just doing a lighter pink, just mixing some of that. Let's see, bright yellow. And add some waves in the turtle. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. Just making these about the same shade of pink. When you're painting, whenever everything's still wet, so like that black line, I would have thought of this first. I'd have done this part first and the black lines after. But sometimes when you're on a Facebook Live and you're just painting, you know, just kind of going for it, you sometimes just do something first <laughs> and you don't mean to. And then something else comes in and you're like, yeah, that'd be cute. Let me add that. So I am getting a little bit of black mixed in, um, but it's not the end of the world. I can always, always add and a black line back over that. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the, the pinkish color. And thank y'all for giving me grace as I freehand this. It's always, you know, when you're an artist and you're creating, and especially when you're creating live and you're, you're talking and creating and you're painting sideways. So a lot of times when I'm on these lives, I'm painting sideways. Um, I'm not painting like I normally would. And so, um, so I never really like know for sure what it's looking like until it's all the way done <laughs> because we're painting it sideways and talking and all of that. So if there's anybody on here that, um, that has never done a live and you've been wanting to do a live and you're like, Oh my gosh, how does that work? How would I even begin? And um, I do have a free training that you can check out and it, it will send you a very embarrassing video of me and um, doing lives way back when and showing my bangs. If you haven't seen it yet already, it's pretty hilarious to watch. Um, and you can find that video at learnfacebooklive.com. So if you want to kind of see behind the scenes of how a live works, maybe so you can just laugh at me. I don't know what your, your reasoning is for sure or you want to learn 
to do a Facebook Live and maybe paint for other people like this, then check it out. And it's just learnfacebooklive.com. So I'm just slowly adding in those lines again that I kind of messed up. Okay, and then now I'm gonna just turn this color right here a little bit of a different shade. Just a little bit of a different shade. The turtle's feet and hands would look good dark pink. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that too. Um, Diana, I think that might be a good idea too. Let's see, what else? Maybe add turquoise dots on the other side of the black line on the turtle. Oh yeah, kind of up here. So maybe I'll turn his, maybe I'll turn his, um, his feet and his hands pink, and then I'll turn a little bit of purple in the center so it doesn't look like it's the background. Okay, so let me do a few updates and then we'll see if this turtle looks finished. So again, those of y'all that are like, oh my gosh, if I make a mistake, look, you can literally just paint right on top of it. It's not a big deal. So if I do this and I'm like, eh, I don't really love that, then I can easily let it dry five minutes and then turn it back a different color. And then some of y'all that are really talented with your shading, this is where you can get really fancy, you can blend your colors, make it really, really cute. Okay, and then I'm gonna add just a little bit of purple to the inside of that. Okay, so I have a purple pizzazz, and I'm just gonna actually blend it with probably a little bit of that turquoise-ish color so it just doesn't come out of nowhere. We wanna keep it still in the color family, right? Because we don't want it just to, all of a sudden we have a new color introduced and it's not even close to it. So we want it still to have that color family. I'm just gonna quickly go over this. So it has some purplish, so it doesn't look like it's the background of the, the surfboard. It's just so therapeutic. <laughs> Does anybody else feel that way about painting? I'm just like, I just love just like mixing the colors and the way they feel whenever you paint. Even when it's just simple designs like this, there's just something about, almost like a coloring page. If you're just sitting there and you're coloring a coloring page, when you do simple designs like this, it kind of takes away the pressure of this intense um, painting, and it's it almost turns into just like a color page. Does anybody else have that feeling whenever they paint like kind of simple designs? Just gives you just a, a place for your mind to rest, you know? Just makes me wanna crank up the music and paint all day long. Okay, what do y'all think? Is the purple better? Oh, thank you, Sharon. Rhonda says, yes, I picked up my brush again today. It's been a minute. Life's been crazy. Well, I'm glad you have picked up your brush. Did you finish your guitar painting? I'm so excited to see it. Oh my gosh, Tanya. So I'm going to, whoa, that is zoomed in. Hold on. We got to back that thing up. Back that thing up. Woo. Um, so my guitar paint, I'm going to show you a couple of things in my art studio real quick. So um, this is kind of maybe finished, maybe not, um, of the surfboard. Um, let me show you what's, what's going on in the art studio, okay? So um, a lot of y'all have been watching some of my projects. I just want to say thank you so, so much. And um, thank you for liking my page. All that support means so much to me. Um, so I'm going to show you kind of the projects I'm working on, where we're at, what's going on. And then also remind you about the starry night. Oh, good. You like the purple. Okay. So here's kind of what's um, going on here. We have the surfboards we're working on. The, so I was going to go live and do the Cody Jinx. So this is the Cody Jinx um, project that I'm working on. 
I will do my best to go live the very next time I work on it. So I'll try so hard not to do that without y'all. Um, because there's a bunch, oh no, there's a bunch more I want to add to that. Okay. So then and the starry nights, um, I want y'all, if you have not done the starry night yet, um, go back in my videos. Starry night has the, um, it has the exact step-by-step. -step, so I want you to watch that because it's going to show you um, what to do, okay? It's gonna show you what to do and then you can be a part of the parade. Um, there's my piece of plywood that I'm gonna be working on. So this is gonna turn into, just so y'all can see it, um, this is gonna turn into um, the huge, dang it, tripping all over. <laughs> um, this is gonna turn into the huge um, Alice in Wonderland. So it's gonna be Alice in Wonderland. I'm gonna have a section that says like we're all mad here. I'm also going to have a section that says, um, you know, six impossible things before breakfast. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, oh, okay. Y'all want to, y'all do want to see the guitar in action? So yeah, so I'll make sure I do the guitar in action. I have tons more canvases. So I went and got a bunch. Um, there's, our Michaels is still open. I'm very thankful for that. I feel like that's definitely an essential, essential business. <laughs> I know, I know some people wouldn't think it's an essential, but I feel like it is for me because I need to paint during this time. Um, and so um, I have lots of canvases, so I'll be doing some other projects live, but I'll make sure to do the guitar live for y'all. And then I wanna show y'all. So forever I have been wanting Bobby to put the clear lights on the mural I did. Him and Pixie um, started the other day doing it. So I'm gonna show y'all. We ran out of lights, but remember I always had the Christmas lights here he um, put the the other lights here. So I am so, so excited. It took them forever because they measured them out because they're like, Bobby's a very perfectionist. As you can see, he measured out and zip tied each exact one. Isn't that crazy? Um, <laughs> if I would have done it, they literally would have just been hanging like a string. They would have just been like that. But isn't that so cool? So I got to go to Michael's or do a pickup or something to get the rest because we have all of them except for this one section. <laughs> and then I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but I might, um, as we have time, I might take these and just paint, paint these black or something. I don't know. But it's been pretty cool because we, um, like a lot of times we don't even need this light that's in the kitchen. We just have these on because it's so, so bright. Yeah, I love the white lights too. So yeah, this was a painting I did a long time ago. Um, and then we had Christmas lights on it forever. So I love, 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 love the white lights. Very thankful for that. So um, yeah, I know a lot, of, a lot of them have closed in certain areas. I'm honestly surprised ours isn't closed right now. And um, so I'm just trying to, you know, get the camp. All the big canvases were on sale last week and I bought a bunch of them and thinking I had enough, but then I don't think I have enough because I keep painting. So I'm gonna have to um, try to get some more, use a coupon or something. And um, so anyway, a couple of things I just wanna leave you with. Number one, if you haven't done the Starry Night, make sure you check it out, the Starry Night Challenge. Um, it can be drawn anything. If you wanna be in the parade, I am giving a um, prize away. I'm gonna put all of them together into a parade that happens, your deadline for that is on Monday. So all you have to do is take your picture, you holding the Starry Night, or if you don't want your face in it, you don't have to have it. Um, and then we're putting your names with it. So if you posted it, we're gonna put your name with it, and that way it'll go into the parade. And then um, the other thing, if you want to do one of these surfboards, one of the surfboards, if you'll go to craftcreations.com, I put their um, website pinned to the top, um, they would let, I'm sure they would really, really appreciate an order right now. So that would be awesome of y'all. They've been a great company to us, um, in Texas Art and Soul and they've anything that I design. I'm like, Hey, can you do this for us? They go for it. So, um, I think that is it. Let me see. Um, is Baylor going to keep the painting they did on you? Oh, um, I think it's being, I think it's being transferred around. So I, I do want to show you something now that the painting's been released. So Laura, the girl who painted, um, if y'all don't know about the heart story, the girl who painted um, my painting, she did two of them. So she gave me the second one. Do y'all wanna see the second one? Um, it's like, 
it's like haunting. It's really haunting and it's huge. So I'm going to show you like behind me and then I'll turn it around so you can see the, the massive size it is. So she gave me the second one. Let's see if I can do that right. So I hung it up in my living room, but that woman is so, so talented. And so when I went to see, here's how big it is. It's massive. So when I went to see um, the art for the first time, she did the, the blonde one, and um, she showed me this one too. Well, I, I haven't, I didn't get a meter yet, but they showed me the one she did and I just started crying. And then I said, oh my gosh. And she goes, yeah, she said you can have this one. And I was like, what? And so I got the second one. This is the second one. So she painted two. And then I asked the photographer when I was there for the, the heart event um, if she would take a picture. And so what I'm going to do is print off this size because this is like, I mean, look at how big this is. So if you can see my head in the eyeball, like look at how giant this painting is. And so um, so I asked her if I could take it and then make a print of it. So my goal is, is to have this one, this one here, plus the one she did that's blonde, that's my favorite, I love the other one too, and to have that one there and then I'll put that one in the living room as well. But yeah, that girl is so, so talented. Um, so yeah, yeah, I, oh my gosh, I would have loved to have kept that, the blonde one too. It was so crazy how she like knew what to paint. It was just so weird. Um, anyway, so I hope you're doing great today. I just wanted to pop in, say hello. If any of y'all are wanting to learn about Facebook Lives, go to learnfacebooklive.com. And, um, besides that, just wanted to leave y'all with some pretty surfboards and hope y'all have a great day today and make sure you're creating, I hope you're creating something fun. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, guys.